Hey guys, welcome back to Fuga, Melodies of Steel. Last time we accidentally, well we didn't really kill her, but uh, Flam died because of, well, she wanted to come and kill us, but then the tank exploded behind her, engulfing her in flames, and killing her. So, she died to her own revenge. And then we looked it up and it seems like she was a little bit more, kind of, eh, tortured by her father's death. So she may have been a little bit out of it, who knows. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. The volcanic lands of Laza Opso are just beyond, but it's not a place for kids to play. Not to mention the Burmans set their man, their main, their man garrison, their main garrison there. What, whatever you do, don't go near it. Well, thanks for giving me meat to try and convince me, but it's not going to work. <sighs> These are the ruins of the ancient theater. They are even sometimes, they even sometimes put on plays. Unfortunately, we can't see them now. Take this as a consultation. All right, Guillotine Bridge. This is the climax of the adventures of Susir. What, you haven't read it yet? What a waste. I'll give it to you, so you better read it quick. How many of those do we got currently? Like, we've got all but one, the final chapter, but I have not been paying attention anyway. What's even, what even? There's like 20 pages, 17 pages, 19 pages. There's a lot less pages than it was originally. Should we read this? I guess so. Alright, episode two. Return this to Lumir. If the gate opens, the world will disappear. Lumir? That's wh where the vanishing incident happened recently. Yes, I couldn't imagine that it's not related and got scared. What do you think? I'll check this out. You'll come with me, won't you, Melia? <laughs> yes, of course. I'd worry if I went you alone. If I went you alone. If you're set on going, you should take this radio with you. I'd expect a full report on his performance when you get back. You mean the thing that exploded? Sure thing, Doctor. I gotta hurry up and pack it up. Meanwhile, elsewhere... I see. So, the next treasure is in Lumiere. Count Nouvelle. Speaking of Lumiere, isn't that the place that the vanishing incident happened? I'm sure that troublesome boy will get in the way. If we don't hurry, he'll get there before us. We must get the gate key, Professor Berry. Of course, if you would assist me, that is. Hmm, by whatever, by whatever means necessary, yes. Leave everything to me. <laughs> to be continued. Wow, we read something. I don't want to read any more, though, because fuck that. Ah, uh, yes. So much love me. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? You What, love? <laughs> it's like, uh, that's Hannah and Kyle's thing. All right. Let's head forward to the volcanic lands of Laza Apso. Chapter 10, The Council of the False Gods. Wonder what false gods even means. I guess we're gonna figure out what a false god might mean in this context. Also, hopefully their parents are here and that they aren't dead. That'd be very bad. Okay, volcanic lands of Laza Apso. I forget what a Laza Apso looks like. I just know it's a breed of dogs. As the land grew increasingly more rugged with volcanic rocks, the children knew they were nearing their destination. After a long and painful journey, the children finally reached the camp in Laza Apso. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, everybody, wait for us. We're coming to get you. I miss you so much. Uh, ooh, ah. <laughs> the little ones seem to be in a good mood. You did, a, you did such a wonderful job making this it, this far, my children. Soon now, soon we will all be reunited. I don't know what that means, and I, maybe this person on the speaker is... Uh, maybe this person on the speaker is bad. Reassured by the <laughs> enthusiastic tone of the voice, the children's hearts began to race. It seems like maybe the voice is evil if it's laughing and being like, we'll finally be reunited. I've We've never met her before, other than just her being on the fucking thing. I don't know. It seems dangerous. Very dangerous. All right. Let's try and upgrade. We can only upgrade the rocket, the rocket launcher. We don't have no rocket launchers. A grenade launcher. Malt's going up there. <gasps> Excuse me. I know you wanted to do that, so... Hmm. We could try and make food, but I don't know. We could try to expand friendship, because we love friendship. 
Let's see. It feels like we're nearing the end of the game, and we won't be able to see all of the friendships. It's very sad. Uh, how about you guys talk together? You guys haven't talked in a very long time. It's kind of like, I just want everybody to be friends, but it seems like focusing on making ourselves better has not made friends. You think people are afraid of me? Everyone trusts you. W what are you doing? Stroking my ego. Yay. New Link event. Scratchy. Itchy, scratchy, itchy. <laughs> I wonder if there's like some kind of new game plus where you start over again, but you have the same exact stats as you did beforehand. That'd be interesting. <sighs> Give me a break. What's up, Kyle? I just noticed I got something on my shirt. I must have got it from a machine around here somewhere. You were always worried about keeping your clothes clean, even back at the village, huh? That's a given. I like to keep things clean. Jeez, look at this. It was never this bad at back at the village. You know, I haven't heard you talk about the city or complain about the village as much these days. Maybe you realize how nice it is in the village. As if. But whatever. Now's not the time to talk like this. Even I know that. Yeah, you're right. Come on, you guys are just starting to be friends. It's like, now's not the time to talk. And it's like, mm. you gotta be friends, though. Friendship. If it gets any hotter, I'm gonna shrink. Alright, he's gonna fucking die. Boron shrinks to the size of a fucking, like, ant. And it's like, you're done for, Boron. You're done. No more eating. Hey, Boron, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, really. You don't seem like yourself. Are you worried about something? Worried? Me? Hmm. Maybe I am. Oh, starting from there, huh? You never seemed like the one to worry about that stuff. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever asked me that before. You're always so observant, Malt. Well, you can always come to me if you're worried about something. I'm the oldest, so it's my job to look out for you guys. I got it. Thanks, Matt. Matt. I, I say Matt. His name is Malt. You're adult. I'm adult. Let's see, where's Sheena? I do not know. Stop eating your food. Let's see, Sheena is not up there. Because these, her, him, and Sheena are almost like completely filled with their affinity, if I remembered. Or they're at the second level. There she is. The second level, meaning the fifth, but whatever. I'm just going to keep increasing friendship. Yep. My mother taught me how to sew. Let's see. Could you make me a plushie? <laughs> I don't mind, but this will take some time. Where's my plushie? I want my plushie of malt. No, I want a plushie of fucking waffle. So we can destroy everybody. <laughs> Still haven't seen no waffles. My This doll is my friend, Bluette. Is it strange, I wonder? I want to be her friend. Really? She wants to be friends with you, too. Wow, friendship. You know how I always say friendship? Friendship good. Because it makes you stronger to kill all of them. <laughs> my mother taught me to sew. Yes, I want another plushie, goddammit. I want another plushie. I want another plushie. Will we be able to do it? I don't think so. We'll get pretty damn close. When I'm alone, memories from the prison camp come rushing back. See, let's think of something fun. Yep, you can feel better now. Yeah, it's not close enough. But we're almost there. Yeah, yeah. Well, we wasted all of our time doing that, but I think it was a good use of time. Let's see, how much is needed? Yeah, it doesn't look like we're doing any of that shish. Let's move on. We must return to battle. We're going to try and take the easier paths. Ah, try and speed things up a bit, if you may. Everybody's yellow. Everybody likes to jiggle. Minefield. Now, how can it be a minefield if you haven't put anything on the ground yet? Let's see. Oot. Oot, oot. Get him. We're doing pretty well. Alright, this can either hurt or not hurt. Yeah, it's not too horrible. Not too bad. Let's see, minefield again. We need all of our SP back, but... At this point, I've become kind of like nihilistic with my SP. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't really need it. <laughs> it's like I'll just keep getting rid of it. I've got the shit to bring it back anyway, so it's not like I'm losing anything. All right, sass. I wanted ass though. <laughs> I need ass, not sass. All right, another battle. We're gonna have to take the lower path if we want to go to the ruins. I want to see every single ruin. What can I say? Uh, you can call me a ruined man. <laughs> 
All right. What's the deal? We need to take care of all that shit. Hmm. All right. Switch over. You're fine. Switch over. Uh, who can be friends? Yeah, friendship. Friendship. <laughs> Scream friendship for like hours and everybody will like you, right? That's what I learned from doing this series. Scream friendship for like a fucking hour and you're fine. All right, piercing rain. Nah, we need the piercing shot. Because we need them to die very quickly. A quick death would be a nice death. All right. Penisalu. All right. Now we just have to deal deal with some big shots. Not super big shots. Fuck you. Just fuck you, man. Fuck you. Let's see. Um. Uh. Just gonna hit him now. Scratch my ear. And then uh, another piercing shot. And we... I don't know what to do now. I guess we could just try and hit him with one regular piercing shot. And then we could probably move on to bringing out the reds to start putting out that awesome damage that we need to do. Yep. At least you didn't try to bring your armor back. That'd be very bad. I do not like that when you do that. Alright. Red boy. Red boy hour. Dunk. And... It doesn't really matter to me. It does not really matter to me. Alright. Oh, I will kill everyone. Malt really does work as... Work better as a... Support character. Because if he's in back, he powers up anybody who's attacking. So, it's better to put, like, Boron in front of him so that he can, like... Output a lot more damage. Boron can just fucking tank. <laughs> he he becomes the tank, I tell ya. Ooh. Not good damage. I really wish there was a better way to increase the stats of our characters, but to do that, you'd have to go into the ruins a lot. You'd have to do things that give them a lot of experience. Abs. You got those abs. Alright. Continue on. After the skirmish, the children examined the debris to find a mysterious letter. As only one could read, as the only one who could read it, Fritz felt a wave of heat pass over him, disturbed by its contents. What? Are you alright? What's wrong? It looks a little different from usual, Berman. I can't read it. Without a word, Fritz promptly destroyed the letter. The children didn't pry any further, but still remained anxious. Looks like it's something he doesn't want us to know about. Or maybe he just feels uncomfortable telling us. We're taking the normal route. I want that fucking ruin. That ruin shall be mine, Optimus. Fuck you, Optimus. I'm gonna stab you. Megatron's new plan. Stab Optimus. If we stab him, he will die. Just remember that. <laughs> remember that. If we stab him, he will die. All right, those two are very close. Close, they are very close. Alrighty then, either or can die. Yes, yes, call for your reinforcements, they will never come. Just like me. Um, Just a hit on the bottom one is good. Push him back a bit. All right, multi-pierce. Just because we want to hit everybody, and we also want to pierce the one down there. And we've got SP to spare. So, we need to hit a dude. Diggle is very angry right now. If you could hear him, he would be pissed at you. He'd be pissed. Why? I don't know. He's pissed, like, every single day for some reason. He will never be unpissed. It's his ability. It's like you have your ability to do things. Diggle has the ability to piss me off. Uh, I'm just like, uh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We should definitely try to heal up just in case we run into some problems. Uh, double pierce. 
Viva la Rest in Stone. Rest in Stone. Um, yeah, that's fine. Hit him as much as we can. And then a lullaby. I wonder when May's gonna get Ballad. That'd be good. If everybody could use Ballad, that would just be... I don't know, man. That would be OP. <laughs> That'd be OP. Alright. Let's keep moving. <gasps> ass. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted that so bad. I just wanted to say, ass. You got an ass ranking. It's not like they're saying it's a bad ranking. You got the ass ranking. You got the greatest ass. There we go. We finally see the picture. Alrighty then. Uh, I don't know. Send a, just random fuckers in. Welcome to Puzzle Land. I'm coming from Puzzle Land. Coming from a Puzzle Man. Alright. Uh, got through. My eyes. I had to clean up honey, so I had to like kneel over a lot, which was kind of painful. So, uh, very not happy about that. Um, just go that way. We need to look for more shish. Oh yeah, he's, he waits. He waits. There we go. Die. Your death is very happy. Alright. What we got up here. Okay, more ways to go. Man, there's a lot of fucking diverging bath baths here. <laughs> you ever had a diverging bath? It's like you sit in the bath, and then it just takes you a different country, and it's like, wow, that was a pretty diverging bath. <laughs> fucking hell. Sometimes my misspeaks are funnier than my regular speaks. <laughs> Did I get everything over there? Yeah, I got everything over there. Let's move over that way. One, two, three. Okay. He was very angry with me. He's like, no, you cannot hit me. Where am I? <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck am I? Alright, get out of the way. I just needed that key, and I'll leave. Let's see. I was already in there. No. No! Ooh, look! I'm getting out of there. Um... Where is our destiny? The only thing we can do left is try and get through that red one, and I don't want to fuck with that. So we're just going to try and escape. Let's see, where is our... Where is the exit? Uh, the exit's up the elevator. Gan... Gan... Man, I wish I had a map. If we had a map, this would be a lot easier. Let's get out. We got a lot of good shit, though. Alright. We got a lot of fucking gear. Onward. It seems like the top path is probably the safe path. <laughs> Excuse me. We must take it. Grasp with destiny from its hand. There's two threes after each other. Like, there's the, the three split and then another three split. So, I hope an intermission is coming soon. I need one. Very desperately. Um... <laughs> Don't ask. I'm just thinking. Like, this is my thinking noise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just get him out of here. Kill him. Yay, we did it. Yeah, yeah, you barely hurt. <laughs> you are a sissy baby man, and you can die. You don't even know how to shoot. I know how to shoot. We know how to shoot very well. Oh, he's mad. He's like, you making fun of me, and I'm going to blow up. <laughs> You make fun of me, so I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Explosion! We did it. Isinodag. Still don't know anything. Alright. Two reds and a blue. That could be a new TV show. Two reds and a blue. Alright. Let us move forward. Um, we need to pierce through him. It's the only way through. It's... Alright, start bashing. 
Start fucking bashing. Yeah, this fight's not going to be too super tough. I mean, we've already clawed through all of his armor. And even then, he doesn't output enough damage for us to be really scared. Okay, he might, because he's going to be like, Fuck you, you keep on making fun of us. I'm going to hit you and barely do any damage. I know your kind. You are the pickle man, and you will die. Am I the pickle man? I'd like to say I'm the man in the pickle suit. <laughs> more horrible jokes that nobody will get. Actually, more people might get it now. Since he's been revealed to be not true or honest. <laughs> the most true and honest man revealed to be not very true and not very honest. <laughs> You are not being true, and you are not being honest, Ian Brandon Anderson. We can just refer to him as that now. Just, Ian Brandon Anderson, you are not being true, and you are not being honest. Oh no, there's a factory. I don't like factories, that's why I want to kill everyone. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing the bottom path is the safe path. I just want to be safe. I don't want to have to deal with a lot of problems. Problem? Yo, I'll solve it. Take out my dick. And my card games resolve dicks. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> my card game resolves dicks. You see, I've got dicks in my game. I've got dicks in my ass. Just thought I'd let you know. Yep. Alright, we need an actual yellow. <laughs> That's not what we were looking for. We can get Jin out. Jin Jin. Get him, Jin. I guess Engine might be the joke. Like, Jin as an engine, and he worked in a factory. And then they decided to fire a bunch of spears at us, because fucking they hate us. I mean, they should hate us. We're the ones who are destroying their war... Fucking... Their war path. They shouldn't have fucked with our families. Like, right when you took their families, they didn't fuck with you. It's like, they, they don't understand this. It's like... Right when you took their families, this giant tank jumped up. So if you just didn't do it, if you left them alone, then you wouldn't have a giant tank trying to come kill you. It's really the fucking Berman's fault for fucking, like, being like, okay, let's just attack this random place and steal all of their people, even though it's like a fucking small house town and there's no reason to do so. Let's just attack it anyway. Like, they, they were not that smart. Ab. We got some ab. Definitely not getting experience, but I don't care much. Battle with the Burman army consecutively, consecutively intensified the further they progressed into the volcanic lands. Not when I'm going to save one. Oh, guys, look! There's so many of them! Looks like they don't want us going down that way. If there's that many of them, they gotta be protecting something important. We better watch it. Yeah, that's the route we're going. It appears this place has been completely... has completely become a fortress for the Burman. But no matter how strong his defense is, it's nothing we can't overcome. You still mustn't underestimate them. With the power of the Tyranus, there's nothing to feel. Nothing to feel, either. Nothing to fear. Nothing to feel. This is nothing to feel, my friends. Just don't feel. Okay. We're going safe. We're playing it safe. I'd rather play it safe than play it dead. Would you rather be in a bag? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Reds and Blues. My favorite show, Red vs. Blue. Even though that show is pretty much dead now. I stopped watching that. Like, so, uh, like, I used to watch Red vs. Blue, which, if you don't know what it is, it was a, uh, like, a machinima series where they would all just play as Halo characters, and then they would just go and fuck with each other. But then it got, like, super deep lore. But it's like, I was watching it when I was like 14 or something, like years after it had originally come out. And I was watching this all in bulk, and I'm like, wow, this series is so much of a mind fuck, but I loved it anyway for some reason. But then as it went on, it like just got worse and worse. Like, the later seasons were still okay, because they were still interesting. But like, once it got to like, after like, when they crash landed on that planet... And then fought that war and won the war. After that, things just got boring. They switched to a different set of characters. And then they brought in the old characters, but they just weren't interesting anymore. I guess their jokes were already played out. And nowadays, I've heard they've, like, rebooted the series or something. Or it's like they've done a zero instead of a, uh, like, uh, continuation. So, I don't know. I mean, I stopped watching that series a long time ago, but it's like... Still feel sad that like 
something I watched as a kid and stuff. Just isn't, just doesn't it anymore. I don't know, man. It's like, <laughs> stuff you look at as a kid, as a kid, you can go back and look at that because it's ended and you can have the hindsight of it. But like, when it's something like a Machinima series that keeps going, it just feels like, you know, it needed to have an ending, but it just never got one. I don't know. Do other people feel like that too? If you've ever watched Red vs. Blue. Because I really liked the first few seasons. Like, the first one was fucking funny as hell. Even if it made no sense, I still really liked it. It was completely wacky and made no fucking sense, but it was like, that was the fun part. The fun part was that it made no sense, because it wasn't supposed to. It was just a collection of really bad jokes and a lot of, like, not intriguing characters, but entertaining characters. So I just felt like, man, this show's funny. But I bet if I were to go back and watch it now, I probably wouldn't be... Actually, the first maybe three seasons would probably still be hilarious to me. But uh, the later seasons would probably not hold up. Like, they would be like... Because I remember them having such a, like, a deep lore near the middle of the series with, like, warriors that would have, like, the names of states and stuff and all this. And that was, like, super intriguing. But in the end, uh, that mostly got dropped for, like, a different storyline later on. So it was, like, that was still interesting, but I just liked it when it was the two of them fighting. Like, the two forces fighting. And then they figure out, wow, none of this is real. So they try to work together to stop, like, the simulation they were stuck in. Ooh. Shell Festival, go for it. We can just try and launch them down. See, I don't know, does Boron have Shell Festival? I think he does. Get them, Boron. Fucking show them your might. Yeah. <laughs> Boron and Wappa are just the ultimate team, and Boron just gets super boosted because of fucking uh, our, boy Wa our boy Waffle. Waffle ain't here, me. You gotta accept. Waffle's never coming back. And it's like, <laughs> I meant malt. <sighs> okay, uh, sure. Super. Go for it. Guess we got rid of one of them. Overload. Okay, it's time for overload. Super powerful attack. Yeah, that makes him afraid. But as long as we, if we were to keep doing that, it would still be pretty damn strong. Just need to hope it hits. Okay, we need two. Oh, fuck, you're fast. You're fast. You're pretty fast. Um, yep. That is fine. We will go forward with that. Oh, God. I'm wearing, like, long fucking slick pants right now, and I don't usually wear them, so I'm, like, sweating, and I'm, like... All right. Overload level two. Two, three, four. He's... He was already afraid. He's fine. He can just get over it. Yeah, that's not gonna help you much, is it? Making everybody afraid. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. Alright, kill it. Good job, boys. That is very important that you killed that one dude. Yes, abs. We always need some abs. Absolutely. Alright, we got an intermission coming up. And that's probably where we're going to end the episode, just because I want to keep these shorter. And then during the next episode, we could finish up Chapter 10. I got to go take off my pants. <laughs> pants is like, don't don't wear long pants, guys. Like, sometimes, even if you feel like it's comfortable, it's like, you're going to get sweaty, man. And sweat, sweat does not feel good, man. Do you want to get sweaty? I don't think so. Do you want to go watch uh, fucking Red vs. Blue? I don't think so. I might, though. It's talking about it. It makes me want to go back and at least watch the first season on Netflix. If it's still on Netflix. I know how Rooster Teeth's a bunch of dickheads, but it's like, that was back when they weren't so much of dickheads. Alright. So, like I said, next time we're going to finish up Chapter 10 and hopefully free our families. So, I'm going to see you guys next time.